Children crying in the stadium. Upsetting and, and ugly images of British today. football broadcast to millions around the world. The police struggled to control the crowd as Millwall fans began fighting each other during the FA Cup semi-final at Wembley on Saturday. One man was even seen walking off with a policeman's hat. And it didn't stop there. Less than 24 hours later, there were clashes with police in Newcastle following the derby with Sunderland. Bottles were thrown at police as the violence spread through the city centre. It's really important to send out a message uh, from us to people around the world that we will not tolerate this sort of thing and it absolutely does not mark a return to the grim old days of the 70s and the 80s when British football was synonymous with this sort of thing. It is not these days and I want that made very clear. The unacceptable side of English football. But the scenes are reminiscent of those grim old days when it got so bad, English clubs were banned from playing in Europe. Journalist Charlie Wyatt was at the Millwall game and says it's the worst he's seen for decades. I was embarrassed and I felt embarrassed for the 50-year-old men hitting each other and just wondering, you know, all these supporters, not just in this country but around the world, watching it. You know, it was a massive game, the FA Cup semi-final, you know, being played in one of the most famous stadiums in the world and, you know, all those supporters around the world would have watched the match and they wouldn't have remembered Wigan winning. In Newcastle, one man was even caught on camera appearing to punch a police horse. The police have since posted a photo of that horse, Bud, saying he's safe in his stable and appears fine. Newcastle United says it's embarrassed and appalled by the violence and along with Millwall says anyone found guilty will be banned for life. It's a minority. It was a shameful weekend for British football. The majority of fans hope that shame will prevent a repeat anytime soon. Rebecca Barry, Five News.